What's up guys? Today we're going to be going over the new Froyo 2.2 update for the Motorola Droid and all the nice new features that it brings. It was released to a lot of Droid users today on August 4th um, to all the users who didn't already have their phones rooted. So if you take a look at the screenshot here, this is my home screen and you can see that at the bottom we have this nice new updated interface. Um, what this is going to do for a lot of people is really simplify moving around your phone. You're not going to need uh, some of your app icons anymore. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is what happens when you click on these new buttons. Uh, you see the one all the way on the left is a phone. If I go ahead and click on that, it's going to open up my phone, which of course you see right here I can tab across and go to contacts, call log, or favorites. Um, you obviously are going to be making a lot of phone calls with your cell phone, so this is a nice little handy button that we can press. If we go ahead and click the middle one, the one with all the dots, that's our app list. Um, you no more waiting for that arrow to pop up. Clicking on that will bring you right here. If we go back to the home screen, you see the icon all the way to the right is a little world picture. Clicking on that will open your default browser, which for my phone I have set right here to Dolphin Browser. Um, I would also recommend that you guys check out Dolphin Browser. It's pretty great. If we go back to our home screen, we're going to take a look at some of the other features that were added in Froyo 2.2, uh, namely the gallery. If I go ahead and open my gallery, you can see that now it's separated into three sections, my downloads, my SD card, and my camera. If I go ahead and click on camera, it will open up the pictures that I already had before. So this kind of just cleaned things up. Some of the other updates of Froyo 2.0 were better battery life, it's more speed and processing power, which you'll notice it's much easier to move around and Adobe Flash is now supported on browsers which is going to be immensely helpful to people. Now the only problem I've heard some users have is that now when you click down on the arrows on the right side of your phone to put your phone on silent you can't go below vibrate anymore so users are freaking out and asking how do we get our phones on silent and I'm here to show you right now how we're gonna fix that problem. If you notice in the bottom right hand corner of my screen I have a silent widget. Now I put that there specifically to solve this problem and I'm gonna teach you how you can get that there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the widget from my phone and show you guys from scratch how we're gonna do this. You're gonna hold the area where you want the widget placed so I'm gonna hold the bottom right with my finger and then this screen's gonna pop up. We're gonna select widgets. Now when this next screen opens up, you have to have um, purchased beautiful widgets, which I did. You're gonna scroll down and select beautiful silent. Once you do that, it's going to place the silent widget right where I wanted it. As you can see here, it just popped into the bottom right. Now, notice that my phone is not on silent right now. If you check the top notification bar, you can see that. The bar is red above the silent widget. If I click on it, which I just did, it turns to green and check my notification bar and you can now see that my phone is on silent. This is a very quick and handy way to put your phone on silent, especially if, like me, you're a student and in the middle of class you need to quickly silence your phone. Other than that, I would say Froyo 2.2 is a great update for the droid.